carbines are created with a variety of methods. Some major approaches will be discussed here. The Bamford-Stevens reaction can start with a molecule made up of a tosyl group and a hydrazone group, so tosyl hydrazone. A base deprotonates the tosyl hydrazone to give the diazo compound and the loss of the tosyl anion leaving group. This is a great leaving group as the anion is stabilized through resonance and the charge is spread across the molecule. The diazo compound can adopt another resonance structure that can then lose nitrogen, N2. Thus, we generate the carbene. The carbene can be viewed as ambi-electronic, and that's to say having the properties of both a carbanion and a carbocation. In the singlet form, the lone pair in the sp2 orbitals can act as a carbanion. Yet, the empty p orbital behaves as a carbocation. Another method for forming a carbene is a hydroxide anion deprotonating chloroform to create dichlorocarbene. Another option starts with another halogenated alkane, in this case, 1,1-dibromide. One of the bromines is exchanged for lithium, and then both the lithium and the last bromine are eliminated to form, again, the carbene. Lastly, when a 1,1-diiodide is exposed to zinc, the carbene is produced with a radical process. In the presence of an alkene, a Simmons-Smith cyclopropanation is performed.